Hey everybody, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about an upcoming real-time strategy game called Rattenreich. This game is a World War I, World War II-esque game, but the difference is this time it's with rats. We finally got some gameplay footage of what the actual game will look like in playing, and that's what today's video is going to be about. Analyzing that footage, talking about what I noticed and what I think about it, as well as just you know, overall hyping up this game that I'm looking forward to uh, for when it drops on PC in September 2022. Just a fun little game about rats in World War I, what's not to love. So um, let's just get right into this video. Before we really get into anything major in this video, the very first thing that struck me almost immediately as I watched this footage is just how beautiful the game is. You'll notice many times the RTX ad will pop up in the bottom right, and I think that's with good reason. This is a game that you're going to want a very strong PC in playing, because it's very pretty, and I think that was evident from the fire uh, animations we saw earlier, and it's just evident by looking at it in general. But moving into actual gameplay mechanics, as you can see from the background footage, we see a gas grenade, and in a couple seconds we're going to see a regular grenade. Of course, these grenades can be used to clear out MG bunkers and anyone who is hiding behind cover, as we see it used in this particular clip. Also, to quickly replay a segment right there, as you can see, he takes control of a specific unit to hyper-focus its orders. This is a great idea and feature that should make it so you can really handle the specific scenarios that are thrown at you in each encounter by just, you know, focusing on a specific unit and having it get shit done. Here's a quick look at what the commander mouse would look, units are going to be looking like. They have a special little helmet and they do not have a rifle. That's actually how the player in question identified it. Also, we have more footage of what an assault on an enemy fortification would look like. This one in particular, one being with a lot of mag guns and MG nests. Um, the player who is playing in this gameplay uh, only had a small squad and didn't seem to have a lot of cover, so he just kind of pushed up the mountain and took a lot of casualties as a result. But it seems really that with careful planning and good strategy, you can take these fortifications pretty easily. Um, I mean, that's going to require some skill, and if you don't have skill, you will take a decent amount of casualties. It doesn't really look like a walk in the park, um, which is refreshing. Also, skipping way ahead into the footage, we can look at some more footage of just battles. Um, this one is in a small town, or medium-sized town, that we see near the end of the footage, where the player in question has a larger squad, and you can see how quickly you can lose units, as well as how flexible the select unit and order unit menu is. You can easily select two, or select the whole horde, whatever you want. Really, those were the things that I thought were really noticeable in this gameplay demo. And if there's anything else that you thought of particular gameplay, you know, pertinence in here, feel free to tell me in the comments. But, until next time guys, this has been Christopher Beast. Mm -hmm.